This is the final of the men's 50 meter backstroke S1. This is the only straight to final event on the program this session. Enadi Boyko, the world record holder, sub 60 seconds, 59.96. There are seven competitors who go in this final Nawaro, Karipidis, Kolotovsky, Betela da Silva, and Kuntu. Milotovsky, a man who's uh, been classed down from S3 to S2 to S1 over the last five years, will go as the favourite in lane four. Well, the crowd certainly appreciates the DJ's efforts. You know, it's DJ. Not just the crowd, I also appreciate <laughs> the DJ's efforts. Sit down, Deb, sit down. <laughs> in one of the great cities of the world, in Paris, for the Paralympic Games, and at the Paris La de France Arena, it's the swimming competition into day three. Just about set to meet the seven competitors who start in this final, the men's 50 backstroke S1. This for competitors with the most severe physical impairments. The lower the number, the uh, lower the classification, the more severe the impairment in para swimming. Going in lane one for Spain is the 20 year old Miguel Navarro. He's the youngest in the field, trains at the High Performance Center in Madrid. Man who represented Spain in Borcha at junior international level. Fourth in Tokyo was, uh, oh, I beg your pardon, not fourth in Tokyo, but Nicolas Conto. Fifth at the uh, World Championships last year and at the European Championships this year. Nicolas Conto goes in lane seven. Another Greek competitor is the two-time world championship medalist Dimitrios Karipidis, the 35-year-old. Has not finished outside the top six in any of his Paralympic Games finals. He was fourth at the European Championships, though. Going for Brazil in lane six is Jose da Silva. Jose da Silva turns 44 the day after the closing ceremony. The silver medalist at the World Championships in 2022. Took up swimming in 2011, five years after his accident. Tokyo silver after Rio bronze. Maybe there's gold in Paris for Anton Kohl. The 34-year-old goes in lane three for Ukraine. Silver in the 100 backstroke in Paris already. The 2022 world champion and silver at the European Championships. Bronze at the European Championships for this man, Francesco Bettella. But he took silver in Rio and bronze in Tokyo. The Italian goes in lane five. But the favorite is from Poland, Kamil Lutowski, the 24-year-old who's already won gold in the 100-meter backstroke in Paris. The world champion. A 1.02.78 seed time. That is over 10 seconds quicker than his next best competitor in the field. Lutowski, Cole, Patella, Karipiris, Da Silva. They all want to get onto the podium. But this is a race that Lutowski is expected to dominate. But Cole and Patella want their say. And you can see all the swimmers behind the block. They typically have someone help them come out, help them get their cap on, their goggles on, help them get ready into the start position. This is, as you noted, the S1 classification. It's the lowest one. So these swimmers do have the most severe impairments. And not only do their impairments range, but also the way that they swim, as you'll see once they get into their strokes, also ranges. Some of the competitors enter by the side of the pool and will swim to their respective lanes. We will start in lane two. Hey. 
swimmers have assistance at the start. And that has to be pre-cleared before the race. You'll also see that for some of the swimmers, the person that's helping them has a towel. It might be on the floor, it might be on top of the block. Typically, the, the towel is for the swimmer, but here it's for the person that's holding them back so that they don't get scratched by the block or the floor. So seven finalists in the men's 50-meter backstroke S1. Now, Kamil Lutovsky looks to get away really well. He uses the single arm backstroke and he's up against a few competitors looking for places on the podium themselves. Double arm backstroke from De Silva of Brazil. Betela and Call look like they're trying to challenge as well. The double arm backstroke from Betela. Anton Call using that single arm backstroke, but it is Otovsky who's leading the way and looking for his second gold at Paris 2024 coming up towards the 25 meter mark. That's right. And you know, the difference between the single arm and the double arm, the double arm in age group swimming, you typically use that as a drill for warm up and warm down. And what that does is it gives you more stability. But in an S1, S2, S3 classification, swimmers often use it because they can't rotate their shoulders. And it also allows them to pull more underwater. Now, as you predicted, Otowski well ahead of everyone else, about two body lengths, I'd, I'd say. Potowski is leading the way. He's going to claim gold. It's going to be outside of world record time. That battle for silver is intriguing, though. Bitella looks like he's just edging call, but gold is going to go the way of Gutowski of Poland. His second gold, and he claims the 50 and 100 double. Is it going to be Bitella or will it be Call? It is Bitella ahead of Call. Just outside the medals, though, is to Silva of Brazil. He touches in 117.24 to finish fourth. But Otowski with fine victory. 107.95. Garipidis comes to the wall in 131.50 to touch fifth. As Conto touches in 137.48 for sixth. And Navarro being encouraged, being cheered. The 20 year old student studying journalism and law at his first Paralympic Games to the wall in 154.58. Kami Lutowski is champion in the men's 50 meter backstroke S1. Francesco Batella and Anton Cole had a fine battle through the opening 25 metres, but Batella came into his own in the closing stages. Here you see at the start, someone holding back the swimmer's arms and legs to make sure that they don't start swimming before the gun goes off. Here's a great underwater shot of everyone, and you can see the differences in the stroke. The swimmers right at the top of the screen using the double arm backstroke. It helps them to maximize the catch underwater. So important here. And this is, of course, different than the single arm backstroke that Otowski used. And Otowski uses this because, of course, it is a faster turnover rate. And the faster you move the, your arms, the quicker you go down the water. And here he is over two body lengths ahead of everyone else with that gold medal and a 107. Very happy, I think, with that gold medal time. Patella catching uh, call right at the wall as well on the stroke for the silver. Lutovsky, though, another dominant performance in the S1 classification. He's got the 50 and the 100 double. Confirming the results in the men's 50 meter backstroke S1, Camille Lutovsky has gold ahead of Francesco Vitella with Anton Cole denying Jose da Silva a place on the podium. Ukraine's call with bronze.